fields of cabbages and artichokes and so forth, and the beautiful greenhouses, and also the, the flowers that were on the outside. And, you know, where Westmore High School, we had about a dozen hog ranches there. Those are gone. So those are the three big industries there are all gone. I'm very impressed with uh, the progress that Daly City has made through the years. I think they've had excellent leadership uh, with the uh, various members of, that have been on the council and taking their turns as mayors. Well, I always wanted to be the mayor of Daly City. And I was fortunate and very proud. I served for four times as the mayor. In many instances, the city of Dana City is, is represented by the persona of the, of the human being of its council and the people that run it. And I really think Dana City uh, always provided an excellent service. I've put so much of my soul into this city, so much of my time. My children were born here in Daly City. Uh, my, my wife and I started our family here in Daly City, and hopefully when my children get older, they'll, they'll look back and when they're celebrating the city's 150th celebration, they'll be able to say, yeah, my dad was there when it celebrated Centennial, and look at the things that he did for the city to make it better. I think that were John Daly alive today, he would be extremely proud and he would feel very honored, I think, that the vision that he had of creating this small little town grew and met both the demographic, the economic, the workplace challenges that confronted this area. And the city responded appropriately, creating housing for people, creating the infrastructure to run the city, and offering a variety of different types of businesses the chance to thrive in this area. If our track record from the past is any indication, we will continue to spawn leaders of, who have vision, who are connected with the community and who see what the future of this city should be. So I'm very optimistic in that way. And again, I, I think John Daly would be a very proud man.